Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel, it's Clarice. If you're new here, I always wanna invite you to subscribe because every single week, tons of great DIY projects are uploaded here and I don't want you to miss in any of these great videos. So make sure you subscribe and also hit that notification button so that you can be one of the first to find out about these great videos. This is probably gonna be one of my most, most favorite centerpieces that I've ever done for a table setting. And you all know if you've been watching my channel that I do a different tablescape for every single Thanksgiving. So this particular centerpiece is gonna be for that. Of course, this can be for any type of occasion. It is super easy, it is super affordable and customizable to however style you want. So I can't wait to share with all of you and let's get started with the video. Before we get started, I wanted to let you know that this video is sponsored by Transformer Table. I've been on quite a hunt for a long table that will fit all my family for our gatherings, and this was my perfect solution. I really love this table because it seats 2 to 12 people comfortably, and all you have to do is add or take away as many panels as you want. And that bench! This bench is also super useful when I have tons of people over and so versatile. My favorite times are family dinners or games night and these two together are absolute must-haves. Check out the description box below if you want to find out more about the transformer table. Now back to this DIY. A wonderful thing about this centerpiece is that you can customize it to whatever size you want. It could be short or long. The most important piece of this project is the base. You want something super durable. I actually found these crates from Michaels and you know what? You can use the crates that you can find at the Dollar Tree. But it totally depends on how heavy your floral arrangement will be. Mine's not going to be too heavy so these boxes will definitely do. I'm just going to be stacking three of them. You do want to get a good height. You're not going to want your floral piece to be too low or too high. I temporarily stack these together with some durable double-sided tape, but be sure that if you're going to use this as a base, you're going to have to glue this together with some wood glue or even put some nails through them so that they're super, super durable. Next up, measure the difference between base 1 and base 2 so that we can make our floral arrangement. We're going to make this by using just this broomstick that I found from my local dollar store. They were only $1.25. So I got two of them and because they're not long enough, I'm going to be sticking two of them together so that we can have it the same length as our base. Make sure you hold these tight together so that they don't actually fall when you're suspending your floral arrangement, but it's going to be pretty light so I have a good feeling that it's going to stay up. Now since our base is durable and super heavy and won't move on the table, I'm just going to be sticking this stick on the actual top of our base. You can also drill a hole in between your base and you can stick the stick in there if you want. But first, we're going to have to make our actual floral arrangement. I'm going to be using these zip ties that I got from the dollar store also to be attaching this greenery that I got from Michaels. Now, you can use real plants or you can use fake ones. It doesn't matter. It's going to look good either way. I do suggest if you are going to be using some actual real flowers like roses or orchids that you duct tape a bunch of floral foam all over your stick. Now, this is going to be a little bit heavy because, of course, you have to wet your floral foam since you're going to need some water in there to keep your flowers fresh. Again, make sure that your base is strong enough to hold your floral centerpiece. You can also get some eucalyptus and the more you put on this stick, the better it will look because the fuller it will be. You can add some fresh eucalyptus or even some ruscus and those will last a long time so they don't need to be in water. I added a few different types of greenery just to give it a little bit of depth and also just to give it a little bit of shape. So if you have some gaps or if you just feel like something is missing in one spot, then you can definitely add as much greenery as you want. You can even use some tape. I mean, I didn't have floral tape, but it should have been green. And you can use this just to suspend some of those leaves down there so that they can hang. Make sure again that you've attached that stick to your base and it's nice and sturdy. But we're not finished yet. I got these hanging glass, no, they're not glass. They're actually plastic. They're plastic spears that I got from the Dollar Tree and I'm just using these uh, fish line that's transparent that I also got from the Dollar Store to hang them up from our suspended greenery. Since these are plastic, you're probably not going to want to use some real candle lights, but just get the fake ones. You can also get these from the dollar store. And now that you've finished your absolutely gorgeous centerpiece, it's time to glam up that table.
love with this DIY. I hope that you are too, so make sure that you comment down below and let me know what you think of everything that you see in this video, how you like my new table, and how you think it was set up. Let me know if you're gonna be using this for your future events, and I would love to hear from all of you down below, so make sure that you comment. Give this video a big thumbs up if you loved it. And most of all, if you've fallen in love with this video, hopefully you can subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you all in the next one. Thanks so much for watching. Bye!